In this video, I'll share how I built a virtual pipe organ. The hardest part of creating a virtual pipe organ on a budget is the pedal board. I bought this pipe organ pedal board from a local organ technician. It had come from a mechanical action organ, so there were no electronic components on it. The pedal board had some hardware on the ends of the pedals, and I removed part of the hardware leaving the metal brackets in place. The usual way to convert a pedal board to use with a computer is to buy a set of reed switches and wire them up to a MIDI encoder. I bought a pre-wired set of reed switches and a MIDI encoder board from a company in Bulgaria that sells kits for this purpose. The switches came with magnets which I glued to the ends of the pedals. I bought a board from Home Depot and cut grooves in it using a miter box and saw to hold the reed switches. I wanted to mount the wiring underneath the board, so I drilled a hole at one end of each groove to allow the wiring for each reed switch to come up from the back of the board to the top. I nailed two small half-inch square pieces of wood to the bottom of the board to provide a space for the wiring and stapled cardboard strips cut from a cereal box in place to hide the wiring. Next I tested the reed switches with the magnets on the pedal board to determine the final positioning for each magnet. I glued the magnets to the metal brackets and taped the reed switches into place on the board. I mounted the MIDI encoder on the end of the board with double stick tape. Now, here's a short video clip demonstrating the pedal board testing. Alright, this is the point in the project where the reed switches have been installed into this um, mounting board and the cable for the reed switches goes into the MIDI Boutique uh, pedal board encoder right here. This is the cable for the power and this is the MIDI output from the encoder board which is plugged uh, this is a USB MIDI adapter which is plugged into my laptop and the uh, reed switch assembly is completely separate from the pedal board. I'm going to just move it into place. And I've already configured the laptop, so now we should be able to test. I'm going to push down a pedal, and we're getting some sound. The magnets are coming close enough to the reed switches. So that you can hear the sound. And on the laptop screen, you might be able to see that the software is picking up the signals coming from the MIDI output, and we have the virtual organ console. Finally, I glued more cardboard strips over the reed switches and covered the encoder board with a plastic box. The keyboards are M-Audio Keystation MIDI controllers, which conveniently connect directly to the computer via a USB cable. I nailed two boards together, pictured here, to create a support for the top keyboard. And there you have it, the hardware for the virtual pipe organ. Alright, now we have the organ all set up. I wanted to show you just a little bit about how the wiring works. All of the um, USB cables from the keyboards come into this MIDI hub right here so that only one cable has to run from the MIDI hub over to the computer which has the software installed on it. Once the keyboards are all configured, I can play on the keyboards and uh, right now I don't have anything set on the upper keyboard so on the screen here I can select the trumpet stop or we could do an oboe if we want something a little less uh, brazen this is the organ that comes with the software yes it is 
Here's a short demonstration of the virtual pipe organ in action. This is the end of the hymn arrangement by Gaden Sykes. Now, a short clip showing a completely digital recording of the virtual pipe organ. This one features a different digitally sampled pipe organ.